Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? Well, what I've got for you is another pen that a viewer spotted and reserved. And some of you would have seen it in my last pen haul here. Interesting one, this one. Look at that. A Sonic Lack Deep Blue Fountain Pen. It's actually quite nice this one i quite like this one the color is absolutely gorgeous look at that and here's that same pen once again comes in the original outer case a little bit on the tatty side as we showed you there we go we've got a sonic lack deep blue fountain pen now before it actually goes out to the um well to the new owner if you like i thought i'd actually do a review on it because personally i think the color is absolutely gorgeous so once again if we open it up like so for you we've got this lovely sort of felt lining inside we've got the parker name to the back let's just pop the the pen to one side if we open up the back says he just better with me <laughs> so there we go we've got two two cartridges we've got the instructions in there so two cartridges if the if the new user the new customer wants to use cartridges he can do but as we'll show you in a moment we've also got a converter inside the pen as well so yep i thought it's well worth a review because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour in my view. Okay, so what we've got, as I said, we've got the Parker Sonnet in the deep blue lac finish. This one, well, let's take you to the, not so much the barrel imprint, but the cap imprint. You can see it says Parker Sonnet, France. Does it say France? Can't quite remember. And then we've got Q.11. So the Q.11 is the date. And that relates to the second quarter to 2000, the year 2000. Now, this particular, well, the Sonic pens were out a little bit, well, before that. And they made many, many different variants, different colours, different patterns. So, in my opinion, I think they're actually great pens to collect. You know, if you can actually collect all the different colours and, you know, some of the more expensive sort of patterns, etc. Then, yeah a great you'd have a great collection so but this particular model the uh deep blue lac um i think was introduced around about 1998 although this particular model or this pen was made in the year 2000 um they brought out a new range and within that range there were these what they term as lac finished pens so they made this blue one they also i believe made a red one a green one and i think they made a solid black one as well okay and this one as we've mentioned in this lovely blue color and what they, they termed it um some people term it as a a water like swirl pattern okay let's show it to you absolutely i love the color um the pen itself lovely pen as well little bit on the modern side for me but yeah i do quite like these parker sonnet pens to the cap there you've got a little sort of a thin cap band at the same time as this one was out they also had another model the sonnet premier range which some of you may have seen had a broad cap band whereas this one as i've just mentioned is quite a thin cap band there we go 
very recognizable arrow clip a little bit more modern than the sort of the vintage ones that some of you people will know and then to the very top there we've got this this black stud or button or finial to the very top of the cap but all in all a gorgeous pen what i've done i've just simply taken it apart cleaned everything well it didn't need a lot doing just but to make sure everything is correct when it goes out to the new owner but it's as i say a gorgeous gorgeous pen the size of it capped from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is 133 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter <laughs> i keep on looking at it and it's actually it is actually a lovely lovely color so let's take the cap off it's a friction fit cap let's show you the pen sort of numerous different angles very nice indeed as we mentioned earlier it comes with two cartridges but inside the pen itself we have a parker converter okay so the customer can actually ink it up with his favorite ink and away he goes writing at his leisure so let's screw that back on so we've got this quite a long section as you can see there we've got this little band towards the nib and then we've got this Parker 23 carat gold plated steel nib. There's the sideways view. There's the feed underneath. Lovely and clean as it should be. And a nice little bonus on this one. I don't know if you can actually see just, just to the top of the nib there. We've got a letter B. So we've actually got a lovely broad nib. Very nice indeed. Incidentally, again, once you start talking about what we term as the premier range, then we do actually start talking about having gold nibs. You know, if it's made in France, then I assume it'll have the 18 karat gold nib. So there we have it, a lovely, comfortable pen to hold. Now, because it's going out to the to the new owner tomorrow morning, I'm not going to fill the pen because inside all the, the section, etc., the feed, everything, as I said, has been thoroughly cleaned. But what we'll do, just to have a look to see how the pen actually writes, let's bring on... A little bit of paper and let's just simply do a dip test so let's dip it in the ink and let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a Parker Parker Sonnet and this one is the blue blue lac or the deep blue lac and it was made in the year 2000 made made in France as you can quite quite see there it's writing with a lovely broad nib <laughs> There we go. It's a very nice writer. Look at that. So writing with, as it says on the nib, writing with a broad line, but writing lovely and smooth. So a lovely, lovely writer. What we'll do, we'll clean that nib overnight and then tomorrow 
we will have it in the post on its way to its new owner gorgeous gorgeous pen lovely color so there we have it i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe give the video a thumbs up if you will i believe that helps me somehow but for now i'm just going to say slavo kriini from me in this beautiful pen i'm just going to say bye bye for now